All right, guys. Finally, I'm getting to the wine review that I have promised to do. Traverse Bay Cherry Wine. If you guys saw my unboxing video, you know that Lumberman 2011 so graciously and generously sent me two bottles of wine, including this cherry wine from Traverse Bay. I have been very excited to try this and just haven't had a chance to do it. Now, Michigan has sandy, hilly landscape that is affected by certain weather that is indirectly affected by the Grand Traverse Bay in Lake Michigan and is known for growing a great grape, and in this case, a great cherry. Now, in Traverse Bay, Michigan, they have a cherry festival every year. All right, let's see who's at the door. Hey! Oh, look, it's Cindy from Soul Survivor X2. You had a package <gasps> I had a package, yay! yay. So I have to send you something. Yes, they Obviously. did. Obviously. <laughs> Did I miss the cherry wine? Well, actually, you're just in time. I was in the middle of the cherry wine. Would you like to have some with me? Absolutely. <laughs> All right, guys. So, special treat. Cindy from Soul Survivor X2 stopped by to bring me a package. And so she's going to try the cherry wine with me. I'm so excited. All right. So, I left off. I was about to open this. And I was saying that in Traverse City, they have a cherry wine festival every year. It sounds like a lot of fun. And I got to tell you, the way Lumberman described Michigan and northern Michigan with its temperate summers and cool winds and turquoise green water, it sounds like a great place to go. I might have to actually check out that cherry wine festival. So this is... Traverse Bay. It is 11% alcohol. Let's get a taste here. Oh, it's a nice color. Not too much. All right, so it's actually a really pretty color. I would say that's the color of cherries. <laughs> What would, what would you say? I'd say cherries, yes. Yes. Very I've never pretty. Seen one that color. I've never Beautiful. had a cherry wine. Have you I ever had a cherry wine? Never. You know I have. <laughs> it's very pretty. Ah. So what do we do? Swirl it around like that? Sure. You <laughs> swirl it around and let it open up. Mm -hmm. You want to get your nose really deep into the into the glass. Okay. So you can smell all of those fragrances. Okay. Definitely cherry. Mm. Smells sort of light and refreshing. I don't even know if I'm holding the glass right. <laughs> Actually, hold it by if the you stem. asked Abby, she would tell you to hold it by the stem. <laughs> okay. However, I've been known to hold it by the um, glass. Yeah, I guess we should do it properly, right? We well, you know, I'm no wine <laughs> critic. <laughs> I feel as though I do a wine review for your average wine drinker. I've been drinking wine for a few years and I've picked up some pointers along the way. The first thing you do is look at it and it's a very pretty color. It's clear, there's no sediment, um, it's a lightly red cherry color. The, um, the smell is fabulous. It doesn't smell overbearing. Mm -hmm. So let's give it a, give it a try. Okay. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers to you. Oh, yummy. Wow. That is delicious. Now, I did read that this is supposed to be served slightly chilled, so I did put it in the refrigerator for just a little bit, and it is slightly chilled. Um, definitely cherry. Definitely has some sweetness to it. As I expected, I wouldn't expect a cherry wine to be quite as dry as a typical red wine. But it's got some sweetness to good. it. I think it would go good with cheese or fruit, um, possibly barbecue even. Sort of a summery, outdoorsy uh, fare that it would go with. Like it is delicious. Mm. Very good. And that second sip is even better. 
The bottle also mentions that this can be used as a great marinade for pork or poultry, and I can see how that would be very tasty. Um, I'm sure it breaks down the meat just enough and tenderizes it and giving it just the right amount of sweetness, and I'm sure it's delicious, especially on pork. I could see how that would go very well. So Chateau Grand Traverse Winery has been making wine for 36 years and they use a process when they make this cherry wine, a successful winemaking technique which they freeze the cherries for several weeks and then allow them to thaw and that process allows the cell structure of the cherry to break down naturally which then releases its beautiful color and flavor. So, you know, 36 years of winemaking, I think they have it figured out. They know what they're doing, don't they? Yeah, it tastes delicious. I would highly recommend Traverse Bay Cherry Wine. And it's from Michigan, and if you don't live in Michigan, they have a website, and you can go to it and order some. They will ship wherever. I have to say thank you again to Lumberman2011 for sending me this most generous gift. It's very thoughtful and I'm very thankful for it um, and very much appreciate him. He was wanting to get a series started where I received wine from different states and did a review. So we've got Michigan out of the way. <laughs> In fact though, I do have one more bottle to review and we'll do that next time. So thanks for stopping by with us today. Thank you Cindy for um, enjoying this cherry wine with me and we'll see you guys next time. Cheers, bye. Just do as I do. I don't know. I haven't gotten that far. Okay. You want to do, this? Want to do it off the cuff? Yeah. Off the cuff. And is known for making a great grape. And is known for making. And is known for make growing. <laughs> Shh. And when I say, um. Like Cherry Festival, ring the doorbell. Not yet. I know, it's good. Okay. I was making sure it worked. Now, in Traverse Bay, Michigan, they have a Cherry Festival every year. That was your cue, Cherry Festival. Oh, Cherry Festival. Okay, sorry. Which adds to making a great grape. Um, and in this case, a great cherry. They have a Cherry Festival every year. It's the bulk of the glass, I don't know. By the, what's the name of that thing? Uh, the glass? <laughs> <laughs> the bottom of the glass? <laughs>